So let us see the first kind of a loop which is a while loop in detail. A while loop is nothing but which allows you to run a block of statements for a number of time. So let us first see the syntax. How can we write a while loop and what happens with each of these? So we write while loop with a keyword called while. Then in the bracket you will provide the expression. This expression is nothing but your boolean expression which will result true or false to check the condition. And then if the condition is true, please execute the block of statements written inside the curly braces. And if the condition is met false, the loop will come outside this, the loop gets terminated and our machine that is JVM will start executing the statements after the loop. So here it says that we have these statements which may be a single statement or it may be a block of statements. You may just want to print hello world. So you may just write system.out.println hello world. And if you want to provide any other message or execute certain other block of statements, you can write here. And this expression will help you to evaluate whether your condition is true or not. This diagram or this graph will help us in understanding about the while loop functionality in detail. Let us understand, it says that we have a condition. This condition is nothing but your boolean expression. If this condition is met true, please execute this block of statements and then if this block of statement completes execution, it goes back to the condition and again check if the condition is still true or false. If it is true, it will come back, execute the block of statement, then go back to the condition. This cycle repeats until the condition is false. What if the condition is false on the very first iteration? That is when you start executing your program on the very first thing you see the condition is not met. That is the condition is false. In that case the loop will get terminated and the flow of program will come to the next statement immediately after the loop. Similarly here also it follows until the conditions are true it will keep repeating these cycles and once the condition meet false it will end the loop and execute the rest of the statements. So one key point that we need to remember about while loop is that if the condition is not met true very first time the while loop will never execute. Let us understand with this example that we have created. We have created a class test and integer type x and the value is 10. So how do we write while loop is that we write the while keyword then in the brackets the boolean expression we have already created a variable and we are trying to check if that variable value is less than 20 if it is true please execute these block of statements right so in these block of statement we write please print the value of x for an example we have just written system dot out dot println which prints only the x value and we haven't incremented the value of x. What happens in that case is that every time it will go and check if x is less than 20 or not. That is if 10 is less than 20 or not. We already spoke about infinite loop. This is one of the case of infinite loop where the condition will never meet false. It means you will never reach to your destination because you do not have any of your destination marked. So for in order to reach your destination or a full stop, you need to provide certain other increment or decrement. That is in order to reach from Delhi to Calcutta, you need to go by train or by bus or take any transportation or move towards Calcutta. You cannot stand at Delhi and say, okay, fine, I will reach Calcutta. So here what we have done is that because the value of X is 10, sometime it has to reach near 20 to make this condition fall. When will this condition become false? When X value is greater than 19 because it says less than 20. Therefore, we keep increment the value of X by 1. Where post increment, it increments the value by 1. You can also increment the value by 2 or 3 or any number that you would want to provide. How you would write that is, you would write X plus 2. X 
plus 3 or so on that you would want to write. In our case, it will first check if 10 is less than 20, please print 10 and then increment the x value which is now 11. It will go back, check for the condition if 11 is less than 20. Yes, the condition is met. It will go print the value of x and these iteration will follow until the condition becomes false. Till now it will print till 19. Once it comes, if 19 is less than 20, yes it will print. Next is 20. Is 20 less than 20? No, the condition is not met. Therefore, the condition is false and the program will come outside the loop and if there is any other statement written outside the curly braces of while loop, those statements will be executed. So let us see this example by running in practical to understand how while loop runs. We have created a class for while loop to explain how while loop works and what is the syntax for it. So the class name is while loop with the main method. We have created a variable called as x and holding the value as 10. So the syntax of while loop works as if we write the keyword while then in the braces we write the condition and then the curly braces what is to be printed. In case of while loop it says that if the condition is true then please execute the block of statements otherwise it will come outside the braces and terminate the program. So we have created an variable with x equal to 10. We are trying to check the condition if x is less than 20. So it says that if x is less than 20, please print the value of x and then keep incrementing and displaying the value until the x is less than 20. So what this program does is that it checks is 10 less than 20, yes, it will print the value of x that is 10 and then increment the value as 11. If you remember, we already spoke about post increment and pre increment which increments the value of the variable with plus 1. So now the value of x is 11, it will again go back and check if 11 is less than 20, yes, again it will come and print the value of x as 11 and keep repeating the steps until x is less than 20. So the last value would be if 19 is less than 20, yes, it prints and now the x value would be 20, it comes back and check if 20 is less than 20. The condition is not met, it means the condition is false, it will come outside the block of statements and terminate it. So let us save this program and run. As you can see in the console, it says the value of x is 10, in the next iteration it is 11, 12 and so on till 19 because now the x value is 20 and 20 is not less than 20. What happens if we remove this increment? Will it not print the value of x? No, it will print the value of x but let us understand will the loop stop or not or when the loop stops. If you see it keeps on running, the loop keeps on running, you need to first stop the loop and provide the condition when should the loop stop. So we write x should keep incrementing and then stop when x is less than 20. So now the, again the value of x is 19 and it stops. What if you want to write this post incrementation before this statement? What happens when you write it here? So in this case, if you remember, post increment is something that it first display the value and then increment it. So now in this condition, x is less than 20. Yes, that is 10 is less than 20. It first comes and increment the value now where the x value will be 11. So the system should print the value x as 11. Let us save this file and run. Now if you see the output, it is 11 till 20.